let's not talk about the application of genre analysis or genre based approaches to teaching. Many people argue that genre based approaches can be applied in teaching successfully because it would not only provide students an access to various forms of writing and, and language use, rather it would also provide them opportunities to have a first hand experience of uh, communicative interaction in, in their first or second language. So genre based uh, teaching can enhance their communicative abilities. Uh, Luke, uh, on the other ha hand, have argued that uh, teaching genres of power such as uh, academic writing or essay writing of in the, in the same sphere, thesis writing, may lead to uncritical reproduction uh, of text and does not necessarily provide uh, the kind of access we hope it might provide to our students. Well, this is, this is one of the contrary views which, uh, which believes that when we ask students or demand from students to uh, write something or speak something based on a certain specified model of a genre, then we do not actually build in uh, some kind of creativity in our students. Uh, this sounds somehow logical, but we need to see uh, in detail in order to see uh, what kind of uh, uh, logical substance it has. Moreover, we would also need that what kind of benefit we can uh, get from using genre-based uh, language use for teaching and uh, are those benefits more than the dis uh, disadvantages genre-based teaching has? Let's have a deep look on, on this topic. Others, many like uh, Christy and Martin, uh, argue that not teaching genres of power is socially irresponsible because it would deprive people from knowing various options of uh, using text uh, in a certain social or academic perspective. So they, they, they think that it's more democratic and education friendly that we expose our students to various forms of genres of writing and speaking. Similarly, uh, some people argue that one thing which we should be kept in mind in genre-based teaching that it may limit student expression as, uh, as it asks students or expects students to uh, academically behave in a certain way. Uh, it, teachers equally need to think about how they can help students bring their own individual insights into the process. So whenever uh, you want to teach through genre-based approach, uh, ask or expect your students to work in a, a particular fashion but simultaneously also give them the margin to uh, include their own style or their own insights into the writing also so that uh, they are not restricted or they are not slaves to a certain model rather they can bring forth their own creativity and can improve and learn more quickly Students should avoid overgeneralization uh, when, when they are using a genre based approach. In this way, they should uh, draw on genre based knowledge and should also create their own knowledge and their own insights also. So it should be a balance. Overemphasis on genre based approach might lead to the fixation of our students' minds. Therefore, the safe strategy based on these arguments can be to uh, can be a combination of genre based teaching as well as uh, any model or approach or style or an activity which might uh, bring forward students own creative selves. K. N. Dudley Evans uh, consider that teachers need to highlight the kind of variation that occurs in political genres. They should not fix their students' minds on certain key components of a genre and should expect that they should follow that blindly. Rather, they should also uh, explain to them that what kind of freedom they have within the same genre, what kind of variation they can employ and they can use when using that genre. Uh, they, all, uh, they also focus on the importance of contextualizing genres in classroom by discussing their purpose, uh, their details with their students. So, Every genre should not be uh, sh should not be let free in, in a classroom, and students should not be bound to follow every bit of it. Rather, uh, a genre should be contextualized. For example, if a genre which is used to analyze a political discourse or used to understand a political discourse may be 
uh, changed or reframed to be applied on a classroom discourse and students should be well aware of such, such variations in the discourse. They also said that learners should be exposed to a wide range of sample texts and that should be both authentic and suitable. Simultaneously, uh, they also felt that a genre-based approach should be used in combination with other approaches, for example, process and communicative approaches to language learning, so that they do not become slaves to genres, their abilities are not restricted or uh, uh, limitized because of uh, such overuse of genre-based approach. According to Scott and Kroom, uh, the teaching of uh, uh, genric forms does not discount the use of models. You, you can use model in combination with genre-based approach. Tadi conducted an interesting study and she found uh, that genre-based teaching can be profitable uh, for some students uh, as, she, as she points out that genre theory has gone beyond looking genres uh, as just text types. Rather, it, it looks into genre as, as a kind of a more social uh, construct which shapes and is shaped by human activity. Uh, which not only shapes human activity, rather it is influenced by the human activity also. So yonor is not only a text type, it's not a written piece of paper which is, which is governed by certain uh, pieces of guidelines or certain pieces of expectations, rather it, is, uh, it, it has a potential to be uh, reshaped con continuously. And a good researcher in, in yonor analysis and good teacher who use a genre-based text uh, for his classroom should be uh, able to understand these variations, possible variations in the text. Similarly, Dresden and ha Hamuda's uh, study of geology students' experiences also came to the conclusion that students uh, can benefit from a genre-based approach, especially in developing their, their, uh, their discipline identity. If they use uh, the forms of writing and the genres which are applicable in their own uh, discipline, that might help them develop their own identity. So this is another advantage of uh, teaching a genre-based approach. And then they argue that the teaching of genres should include more than just linguistic and rhetorical features. Uh, it should uh, also include socio-political and cultural aspects of a genre also. It should also focus on the disciplinary community's ways of perceiving, interpreting, and behaving. Uh, that is their ways of being, perceiving things, uh, contextualizing knowledge, and, and disseminating that knowledge to the wider world. So all these things, uh, uh, including both academic, academic and social, should be included when a genre-based approach is applied for teaching. Johns uh, points out uh, that uh, we should bring in genre awareness and rhetorical uh, flexibility simultaneously. And it's the same point we, we mentioned a while ago that students should not be made aware of various genres which are there to help them to understand their discipline, to express themselves and their knowledge. Rather, they should also be allowed some kind of rhetorical flexibility so that they can uh, they can include their own individual perception, their thoughts and creativity also in, in the kind of work they are doing. Yonos then provide a frame, a broader frame which enables people to take part in and interpret uh, particular communicative events. They, so Yonos serves as a frame, but simultaneously people can add other models or other approaches also, which can actually make them uh, able enough to communicate successfully in a second language. And this way, students not, can not only learn how to communicate, how to develop their, their various uh, language skills, rather they would also get an access to socially powerful forms of language, which are obviously are shaped and, and, and saved by uh, the knowledge of genre analysis.